You're working on a cool render in Houdini. You configured your OCIO settings to use ASUS CG and everything looks great. You hit save to disk only to come back to everything looking off in Nuke or Resolve when working in ASUS. Sounds familiar? Let me fix this for you. Open the OCIO settings and take a look at these file rules. They help you to automatically convert textures when using ASUS. What many don't realize is that they also apply to file output when saving to disk. And what's so confusing about it is that it says rendering color space ASUS CG, right? So you would assume the written files would also be ASUS CG too, but no. Typically we save out renders in the EXR format for its dynamic range and linear workflow compatibility. This row right here is where it all goes wrong because by default EXR files will have the linear sRGB color space baked into the file. We want to continue working in the much bigger color space ASUS CG when bringing the renders into Nuke or Resolve. To do this, we have two options in Houdini. The first would be to append ASUS CG in the file name because we actually have another file rule up here that applies the ASUS CG color space to the file when saved to disk. This overrides the file EXR file rule and also has the advantage that you or another compositor knows what color space the render is in. But it might be a little bit risky because a simple typo or just forgetting to append it in the file name on all your passes would result in the wrong color space. So a much safer option and typically overlooked in most tutorials, simply setting the color space on your Karma render settings node. If you go to image output, activate color space and specify ASUS CG here, the file rule for EXRs will be overridden and you can safely write all your renders to disk in ASUS CG. Let's render out two images, one with the color space applied and one without. Now fire up Nuke to check the results. Pressing S, you can see I'm using the OCIO color management and EXR files will be imported as ASUS CG. When we view the ASUS CG file, it matches 100% with the Houdini viewport render. The one without a color space was specified looks a little off because it was essentially written to be linear sRGB as per the file rule for EXRs. We can prove this by setting the read node to use linear sRGB and now both renders look identical again. The ASUS CG render just has a way bigger color space for us to work in and we should prefer it using that over sRGB. Your key takeaway here should be set your color space on the Karma Render Settings node once, save as permanent default and never think about it again. I hope I could clarify the mystery around ASUS in Karma and I will see you in the next video. Bye!